I really do feel as Christians, or oh, I'm not using all our accent power, half percent of the billion percent things that we can ask of God and God will like do for us straight away. My name is Teresa and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about things that young people should ask of God. Young people pass through a lot a lot lot like so people have either been through a lot or you are in a lot or you are going to a lot like the world has just figured out a way to always put us in that position i feel that every young person should ask god for this everything what do you think i was going to say what do you think i was going to say no wait let us talk what do you think i was going to say like i do feel that as christians we have actually limited our ability to like come to god as a father and like ask god to do this for us or do that for us because we believe that we should leave the big things for god and we should try to like fix the small things then when it comes to something impossible then we can just like run to god you know that's not the concept that god instituted and that is not what he he planned when he wanted to be our father he didn't want you to like try to fix it yourself and then when you are done fixing it yourself and then you're like oh i can no longer fix it myself then you take it to god that was not the plan of god that's not the original plan of god the original plan of god is that he be the center of it he be the fixer he be the the father he be the the person that you want to run to whenever something's up whenever you're about to make a decision, whenever you need something to be done. And that is who he wants to be in our life. He doesn't want to be the last resort. He doesn't want to be the second option. That aside, I do know that everybody can ask God for everything. But now, I'm actually speaking to the young folks, folks that are experiencing life, that are experiencing a lot of pressure, are experiencing a lot of um, competition, a lot of things are in the market. There's so much struggle. There's so much struggle to be somebody. There's so much struggle to get a job. There's so much struggle to building a home. There's so much struggle. Everywhere struggle, 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 struggle. Oh, don't just focus on all of these big struggles. I mean, like, God, see me through with these struggles. God, see me through with this struggle. Ask God for the little things. So I'm just making this video to, like, tell everyone that, see, you can ask God for everything. Like, right from you want your hair length to be increased to the fact that you want that food that you're cooking to be delicious to the fact that you want God to tell you who you want to get married to to you want that photo shoot to be bang. Like, every single thing, every single thing you can ask God. The Bible said, seek and you shall find knock and the door shall be opened unto you said if she asks and you get answered that is what the bible said the bible did not say ask me only when it comes to the impossible you see although god is the impossibility specialist he still does like possible things possible things god still like does possible things god still like comes true for people you know the bible said that he has the heart of kings in his hands. And like river, he directs it to wherever he wants it to flow. So dear young believer, ask God for anything. <laughs> you can literally, literally ask God for help in catching the bus. You can ask God for help in meeting a new friend. You can ask God for that presentation. Stop putting God in a position where it has to be something extremely difficult stop putting god in a position that he only comes through when it is extremely difficult it kind of makes your relationship with god not very close it doesn't make it a kind of fellowship between a child and a father it makes it like a relationship between a benefactor and the other thing they call the person that benefits from it benefit. so more like it makes god look like the rich man in your community that you go to whenever you just need money for your school fees or all of that because he's a philanthropist and just all of that that is what it makes god look like but god is a father and we should build this character of 
speaking to God when things hurt us. Like just immediately that thing hurt us. Like even to ask you the last thing that actually broke your heart. Okay, let's do an exercise. Let's talk about the last thing that broke your heart, that made you cry, the last thing that actually gave you worry. The question is, who was the first person you spoke to about it? Who was the first person? You know, sometimes we are quick to go to the person in church, tell him, put me in prayers. We are, able to, we are quick to go to our mom, tell our mom, put me in prayers. We are able to go to our friends, give me advice. We are able to go to our leaders in the church, see, this is what I'm passing through. But you have asked everybody that links to God in your life and those that don't link to God, but you've not asked God. It is easy to miss. That's the point. It is easy to miss. Recently, that's like some weeks past, I had this document I was supposed to submit. Now, I had issues with that document because I felt that the requirements to pass that stage, I do not have all of the documents because I've missed some and I can't get some and just all of that. And it brought me so much worry. So I got this mail and the mail was like, you have to submit this document, da, 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 da. And that day, I was in the room, I was just staring. So my husband walked in and he was like, what are you thinking about? And I'm like, this is the problem. I just got this mail. I had tears in my eyes because like, I'm like, is this how I'm going to lose this? I don't have all of these documents they're asking me for and I don't want to lose this. And I don't know how to go about it. I don't know what to do. I don't know what not to do. And I was telling my husband that we need to figure out a way. Let's think about something. Let's let's crack our brain. Let's think. Let answers come. And at some point, I told my husband, just give me a moment. I want to pray. And I knelt down there. I didn't think I spent up to 15 minutes in prayer, but I did speak to God about, God, I don't know what to do. Just come through. Just do something for me, please. And after then, I made it. I mean, like, I, I made a promise to myself. Like I said to myself, that I'm not going to discuss it with anybody. I've discussed it with God. And God is the only person that can solve this problem. So I'm not going to, like, I intentionally, whenever I want to, like, speak about it, I'm like, no, 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 no. You said you're not going to speak about this. You said it, you committed it in God's hand. Let it just be there. Let it just be there. This is what I kept telling myself. Until weeks later, I got this mail that said, We've accepted the document you submitted. The document I submitted isn't even the right document. Like, how did you accept that? <laughs> and then I just sat down there in that moment and I was like, you can really ask God for everything. You can ask God for the big things. You can ask God for the small things. You can ask God for the things that get you worried. You can just gist with God, you know, the, the, the gist of the father and the daughter and the son and <laughs> Da, 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 da. so this is just me to be telling you that god can chest your bills bro god can fund your life like from penny to penny yo from penny to penny god can fund your life so this is me telling you that god can fund your life you just need to give god the space to you just need to inf involve him in every matter in every case in every scenario just be like, God, I'm not going to call you just for the big things. I'm going to call you for the small things. Because even the small things, I can't fix it by myself. I still need you to like fix it for it to be fixed perfectly. So this is what our relationship with God is. So this is just an encouragement that when you're cooking that food and you're not sure that the salt that you've added <laughs> is going so well, you can just like pop it up to God and be like, God, this food is delicious. And just when things are missing when things seem so tiny when things seem so big just feel free ask god because as a young person i repeat young people pass through a lot a real lot a whole lot a very big lot i really hope this video was helpful it's just like a chat because <laughs> It's just like a child thing. The only way for you to knock on that door and it will be opened is when you knock. You just have to knock, which means you just have to ask, which means you just have to pray and talk to God about it. Like, please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. -bye.